A few years ago, my girlfriend and I moved to a new house, our own house. This meant no more renting and moving. We were finally at home. This was a completely new chapter for us and I wanted to capture it somehow. Naturally, I thought of taking photos. The problem was that I knew nothing about photography. But then I got an idea. I remembered I once bought a DSLR, but never actually used it. It was just lying in one of the boxes gathering dust. I decided to start taking photos every day, and I'd post one of the photos from each day on a private blog. People call it a 365 project. The rules were simple. The photo should be taken and published on the same day. If I missed one day, it would be game over. It was August 13th the day that changed my life completely. I learned a lot about myself. A project like this paints a larger picture of who you really are. It shows who and what is really important to you. Every photo I posted has its own story. I wrote a short description about each of those photos. Each one of them was taken for a reason. And I remember those reasons. Every single one of them. It's kind of a diary. It's my story, a story without Instagram filters. They're not highlights of my life. It's just life, and life is not always perfect. My 365 project made me realize how fast time flies. When I was just starting, I took many photos of my girlfriend. A few photos later, she was my fiance. By the end of my project, I was taking photos of my wife. I've been a father for a few months now, and thanks to the daily photos, I can see how life changes from week to week. Time flies, and it's a good idea to capture it in those daily photos. I learned a lot about photography. I got to know my camera. I know what I can expect from it. I know how to take a certain picture with it. I know its limits and what we can accomplish together. I learned that I don't need a huge DSLR with a big lens that costs a few thousand dollars. A small, mirrorless camera with an old manual lens is more than enough for me. And I know it might sound stupid, but I became friends with my camera. I love those moments with only my camera, when I can just focus on photography. Completing a 365 project requires me to have my camera close, all the time. And that's why I managed to capture moments that would normally be missed. I even took a few amazing photos that landed in exhibitions next to pictures taken by famous photographers. Where would I be today if I hadn't started the 365 project? I have no idea, but I know I wouldn't have discovered my love of photography. I wouldn't have met some amazing people. I wouldn't have witnessed some breathtaking sunrises. And above all, I wouldn't have learned how to take photos. And no, I didn't stop after my 365th photo. I took another one the next day, and the next one, and a few weeks ago, I took my 1,000th photo in a thousand days. And I feel like it's only the beginning. There's the saying, do something today that your future self will thank you for. A few years ago, I started my 365 project, and this was one of the best things I could have done for myself.